Today I will show you how to realistically add a lipstick on a lips and even change to any color that you want and also how to add a glitter on the lips, eyes or wherever you want. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymanya and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Today you will learn a lot of interesting tips, tricks and techniques, so just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, this is our photo for today and we will concentrate on this part on the lips. So I will show you how to really easily add realistic lipstick on the lips and change it to any color. So first thing that I want to do is to mask out the lips and this is really easy and simple process to do. So I will use for that hue and saturation adjustment layer just as a helper and change to any color that is different than the lips. So blue is pretty cool and I will press Control or Command I to invert the mask. Perfect. Then I will go to a brush, right click, choose soft round brush and uh, increase the size a little bit like that. With the white color, I will reveal the mask and basically my idea is to paint the lips in that blue color. So I will fast forward this and come back in a second. Right guys, so this is it. As you can see, now I have really cool blue lips. But actually this uh, hue and saturation layer uh, was here just for this masking part. Of course, you can use this too to change the lips color. So like you want to add this kind of lipstick, it's perfect, no problem at all. So this is before, this is after. This is one way how you can add a lip lipstick. Basically, adding a lipstick means changing the lips color and also make it more shiny or more matte, depend what kind of lipstick effect do you want to achieve. Also, you can use this color balance for adding the same effect. So I will just press and hold Alter Option key and just duplicate a layer mask on that, hide this and with color balance you can just, as you can see, play with color and change it to basically any color that you want. So this is, this is it. You can add different tone to the shadows and different tone to the highlights. So this is pretty cool. This is before, this is after. If this is too uh, saturated, you can always lower the saturation, etc. by adding another hue and saturation adjustment layer and so on and so forth. But what I like to use today for changing the lips color is gradient map adjustment layer that I already show you how to change color of clothes and even lips, but this is pretty cool way to do it in case you didn't so my tutorial about that. But before I show you this really cool trick, I just want to say that this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for that. So guys, in case you want to improve your current skills or gain some new skills, Skillshare is a really cool place for that. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on photo editing, video editing, uh, video effects like After Effects, even 3D or something completely different like maybe cooking, etc. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. They're offering classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. And because Skillshare is sponsoring this episode, they are giving first 1,000 of my subscribers two months completely free premium account there. So that means that you will gain access to all the content on the website and you will have opportunity to learn a lot of cool things there. So all you need to do is to go down there in the description, click on the link and gain your two months completely free. Also, Skillshare is pretty affordable. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. So this is really cool, especially after your two months expired. If you want to continue with the subscription, this is pretty cool price. In case you don't want to continue with the subscription, you can just cancel it. No questions asked. Right, guys, now let's go back to the Photoshop and continue with this really cool effect. Okay, now we'll create a gradient map adjustment layer, as you can see right here. I will hide the color balance and I will press Alt on the Windows or Option on the Mac and just again copy our mask right here. And go here, double click on that, click here and I just want to switch to black to white, all right? This is pretty cool. And click somewhere in between, click on this color and put location here 50%. And then I can change the color and change to any color that you like. As you can see, it's really cool. Maybe one dark blue or whatever, maybe one black with, a, with like a blue tint or maybe one a green or 
yellow, you know, there are a lot of cool colors that you can use it, but I will go with some kind of a reddish lipstick, this is pretty cool, and uh, I can choose less saturated, more saturated, like this, maybe darker, brighter, whatever, so it's up to you to choose depending on the photo and what kind of effect you want to achieve. So this is a really cool way to add a makeup to the model's face. Okay, this is pretty cool for now. And I will press OK. And now with this part right here, with this uh, square shape, I can make the lipstick more or less shiny. So if I move it to the right, I will have more matte lipstick. This is pretty cool. So maybe I want dark matte lipstick and I can always go and change to something like this. It's really cool. Or maybe I want to go back and add a little bit more shine to the lips and this is pretty cool too. So this is just one of the ways how you can apply that uh, shine effect on the lips, in this case on the lips. There are other ways but I will not do this in this tutorial because it's completely different technique. But for now this is really easy. With this you're changing the color, with this you're applying more matte or shiny finish and that's basically it. If you move this to the right you will have darker effect. This is really cool, maybe uh, this kind of uh, effect with more shine, you can see, perfect. This is something really cool, you can narrow it even more. As you can see, this is really cool. So this is completely different than what we started with. Or maybe you want to go like really bright with less shine, so something like this. The beauty of this gradient map adjustment layer is that you can really control a lot of cool things just with, with these sliders right there. So I will go a little bit like that. And the matte is really cool, but let's let's add a little bit more shine to it, like that. And also this one, you with this you're controlling the shadows. So maybe you want less shadows, as you can see right here, or maybe you want more darker shadows, like this. Again, it's completely different feel. So if you want to reset to default value, just type 50 down here when you click on it and you're there. Now I'll show you how to add a glitter to the lips or eyes or wherever you want to just add them a little bit. Okay, but before I show you how to add a glitter to the lips, let me show you one really cool way how you can use exactly the same technique to add even more makeup to the face. So basically we will go again with the gradient map adjustment layer, but I will just make a copy of this one, Control or Command J, and just fill this uh, mask with the black control back, backspace in this case. And what I like to do, I like to use, again, really soft round brush. Okay, a little bit bigger and maybe 10% opacity and just add maybe some kind of a redness here. This is pretty cool, maybe right there. So this is one, one way. Then we can make a copy of it again, fill it with a black and maybe paint here. A little bit, as you can see. Maybe we can even change the color. It doesn't need to be red. I'm just using the red because I used it before. But let me show you. You can change to any any tone that, that, that you want. So this is how it works. And again, you can play with these things and, and have a lot of cool, cool effects here and there. But this is really, really cool. If this is too much, then you can lower the opacity. Also here, you can lower the opacity and play with this. But this is one really cool way how you can add even more makeup to the woman's face. So just a bonus tip for you to know how to do it. Right now let's go and add a glitter effect. So to be able to add a glitter effect to your photos, you need a glitter texture. So something like this. In case you want to download this texture and the photo of this woman to practice with, you can find the link down there in the description. Right, I will copy this texture and go back to our document and just paste it right here and position this glitter texture about the lips somewhere here. Press Alt or Option key, click on the mask to load the black layer mask to hide the glitter texture. I will double click on this and name it glitter. Okay, and now what we need to do is just to play with the mask to reveal this uh, texture back on the lips. So if we just play with regular brush and do something like this, mm, this is not good. It's really fake and I don't like it. So for that we need to create our custom brush that will actually add this kind of effect. And it's really, really easy. Let me show you how it can be done in a matter of a couple of seconds. Just right click, choose the hard round brush and choose the size of your glitter. So 
maybe you want smaller ones like this or maybe you want a little bit bigger one like like that so it depends what kind of effect you want to achieve so i would choose this size probably okay and then press f5 go to brush properties go to brush tip shape and just increase spacing and it's different for different kind of uh, different uh, photo resolution so this is already better but now i want to go to shape dynamics just play with the size a little bit so i want to have the variation in size this is pretty cool and also i want to go to scattering and to scatter it a little bit you can play and change it in uh, while we're while you're working so this is it as you can see this is pretty cool guys and now what you need to do is just to play and uh, paint over the lips maybe this is too much now okay and just paint just paint and add as much glitter as you want it's completely up to you what kind of effect you want to achieve so this is something that I like if you miss something you can always use a razor to raise it actually to if you add it more than you want okay or just undo it so this is pretty cool and now I will go to upper lip and maybe maybe change something maybe increase the spacing a little bit and just add a little bit less than on a lower lip just for fun of course you can do it however you want this is a personal preference and basically what kind of makeup artist are you so something like this let me see perfect okay we are not done yet now the fun will start let's go to a glitter uh, layer then go right uh, create new hue and saturation adjustment layer sorry clip it to affect only the glitter and now you can play with the color so you can change any color that you want i will go with the, something like red maybe lower the saturation a little bit and something like this looks cool but also we need to add some kind of a shape to everything here so for that i will use dodge and burn guys if you don't know what a dodge and burn is it's a powerful tool it's an awesome technique go check out my tutorial about that on link right there i will now go really quickly through that using a curves adjustment layer so i will clip this i will make everything brighter and i will name this d for dodge then i will create another one curve clip it make everything darker and this will be b for burn okay perfect invert Control i Control i invert masks and now i will use really soft round brush with 10 uh, percent opacity and i will go with the burn first and i will just make these parts a little bit darker basically we are adding the shape in the glitter like that you will see in a moment maybe you're not seeing now while i'm working but it will be visible after i finish okay i will making brighter this part where the lips are brighter and making darker these parts where the lips are darker so this is basically it let me show you really quickly before and after as you can see we are adding a little bit more volume to this effect so again before it's a flat and after it has some kind of a curvature some kind of a volume it's pretty cool right then we are not finished yet we need to add a little bit more uh, highlights to this so i like to do that i will right click and choose my brush that i used before okay 100 percent opacity this is the brush i will create a new layer name it highlight okay and now i will choose again smaller brush to zoom this something like that and let me see this is pretty cool but it's too dense so i will press f5 to change some properties i will change the spacing like that and change the scattering a little bit too so let me see yeah this is pretty cool but maybe to change the spacing to increase the spacing even more again guys this is a personal preference so it's completely up to you i'm just adding a few dots here and there just to add some kind of a glow effect and actually now i will add a glow effect to this and now i will double click on the layer go to layer style dialog box go to outer glow and add this kind of glow effect by putting blending mode on the screen choosing color whatever color i want but for this i can go with some other color if i want maybe maybe this or if you want some kind of a golden color but it's completely your choice maybe 
we can go with the red color too but let, let's go with something like this because it's more obvious and then you can play with the size of the glow as you can see and uh, also you can play with the spread etc so it's completely up to you play with the range and this is it so i will leave it like that press ok and this is before this is after you can lower the opacity if you want a little bit and we have really cool effect right there but we are not done yet we can add even more depth to the glitter effect if you if we go to the glitter layer double click on it and go to drop shadow and now choose the angle position see on the image where the actual light is coming from so i will choose the angle like the light is coming a little bit more up on the model because this is how it, how it is and i can choose the distance of the shadow so maybe up and like that this is pretty good size i don't want too harsh but i don't want to soft something maybe maybe three something in between and uh, i will choose multiply blending mode for the color i will choose the lips color like that but some darker color maybe like like this here and press ok and play with the opacity and this is it so let me show you before this effect and after this effect we're adding a little bit more depth here i really like it so this is it right now i will group everything here and name it glitter right and group everything here and name it makeup all right so this is starting position the lips without any kind of lipstick this is with our lipstick and makeup a little bit and this is with a glitter effect of course as you see guys you can change the glitter color add a little bit more uh, highlights here and uh, change whatever you want different kind of effects it's really cool you can go and even add let's go right here and even add more if you want uh, contrast to the glitter so before after this is also cool or if you want you can make it brighter by changing either color or adding another curve adjustment layer and make everything a little bit brighter so a lot of things that you can do with this this is before this is after yeah we can make it brighter etc and the beauty of this process that i show you is that you can in any time go back and change the lips color so go back here choose any color Maybe you want to change to a little bit brighter tone, as you can see, or maybe more saturated or maybe darker tone. See, this is this is cool combination, like donuts with uh, some kind of a glitter on the top. Interesting. And do whatever you want. So that's it for today's episode. I really hope that you like it and that you learn something new, fun and interesting from this one. The point of this tutorial was me showing you how to create realistic lipstick effect and how to add a glitter to the lips. Also guys, you can use exactly the same method to add a glitter to the eyes or the cheeks or wherever you want. It's completely the same, so just try, experiment, have fun with this. Depends on which kind of effect on the photo you want to uh, produce and uh, it doesn't need to be a human face at all. It can be whatever, some, some object or whatever, wherever you want to add this kind of a glitter effect. Right, that's it for today. In case you have any questions for uh, this episode, regarding this episode, you can leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. And also guys, don't forget to sign up for Skillshare. You will get two months completely free, but just first 1,000 of my subscribers. So make sure to be among those first 1,000 and enjoy the content there two months completely free. Also guys, if you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future content. Right guys, have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.